Yeah, those aloes put the that bleed effect on you. Um, <laughs> we're all bleeding. <laughs> Take a blood shower. <laughs> Gross. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved. I'm the Order Map. I'm an old guy gaming. And uh, as you can see, we just captured another. Oh, everybody passive. Everybody passive. Uh, just captured another 135 male Archie, I think. It's a 135. Um, so, yeah, it's been a couple hours uh, since I left you guys in the last episode. And a day or two has gone by in game. And let's see. So, I got some bad news. We lost um, sang uh, Sangria. Uh, I took all the critters up on the mountain there uh, looking for chitin so that I could make some saddles. Um, I tamed another female RG. Um, just, you know, tames of opportunity. Uh, and that RG was, I think, 145. So, she's even higher level than wine, which was the first one we did in the last episode. Uh, but they're both females. So I went ahead and grabbed this one because, of course, it's a male. Um, we're going to need to make some more uh, trink arrows to knock that, that one out. And I've got quite a bit of... Uh, I have quite a bit of prime meat here from our little trip up the mountain. But we didn't... We didn't get a lot of, of chitin. We got, basically we have about 102 between the chitin and the keratin, uh, which is not enough to make an e even a single Argentavis saddle. So I, I think what we're going to do is we're not going to bother trying to replace our, our um, uh, Triceratops. And the reason for that is because Traveling by land from this location is exceedingly dangerous because what we have to do is we have to go uh, follow a mountain trail all the way up. If something happens, you know, the dinos have a, a chance of bailing off over the side. Um, so there's that. Uh, plus, you know, the higher up we get, the more dangerous the animals get. Um, and uh, we we killed we killed a uh, oh what are what are, what are those screaming dinosaurs called with the furry guys that make your go batshit crazy. These guys. Yeah, Uteranus. So we kill the Ute, we kill the Bront, uh, a Brontosaurus, we kill the Rex, we kill a bunch of wolves. Um, more of the, you know, the poop-throwing giraffe guys. And and just really dangerous. And so, I, so when I turned around to come back, by that time... Um, oh, you little bastard. By that time, uh, Sangria, yeah, she uh, was so damaged that I, I just, she she basically bled out is what happened, I think. Um, so I, I didn't get her back, which which sucks. Uh, and that also means that we, we no longer once again have a berry collecting dino. But I think it's time for us to get out of here. All right, we're going to go ahead and tame this Argentavis because, again, it's a male and it was easy easy to nab. And, I, and then I think we're just going to take our flyers... We're going to take um, whatever materials we can. I suppose we could, we could try and take the raptor with us, but it's not likely that it'll survive. And we're just going to get the hell out of here and go find a, a better location for us to to set up our main base. Okay, anyway, let's... um already grabbed that stuff. So it's going to probably take... It shouldn't take any more than 50 arrows at the most. To tame this RG. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is turn these into trank arrows. Uh, I also found in a drop this blueprint for a journeyman crossbow. In fact we should make that right now. Why don't we do that? Because um that does 166% damage which is really good. So let's see, what do we need? We need 71 wood and some fiber. We have 31 wood in there already. So let's put... Oh, I guess we have quite a bit of fiber in there too. Okay, so we 
put this in here and grab these ingots out of here, which we have lots of, as you can see. And oh, just a little bit more fiber still. Here we go. Uh, nope. Press E. Okay, so that'll give us a really nice crossbow. And uh, what we'll do with this one is let's pull the arrow out of it. And yeah, we don't even have room for it in here. Um, this crossbow here is... Yeah, let, let, let's just drop this one. We've got so many crossbows and, you know, with all the barrels and stuff that we have around here, they're super easy to come by. And I just picked it back up again. <laughs> we'll come over here and drop it. All right, look at that, man. Very nice. And we'll, we'll definitely be taking this blueprint with us when we leave. Uh, that is the most valuable thing. I also found um, a journeyman packy saddle. But, I don't know, the packies aren't that uh, useful. I found this... Desmodeus saddle. I don't even know what that is. That must be a new dino that they added before I played. Um, and then, of course, we have this pretty nice apprentice mammoth saddle as well. Okay, so let's grab this guy, put it in here. And we will load it up with Trank arrows. And the other one we have is also Trank arrows. And let's get this uh, let's get this guy knocked out. He's got really cool gold and black wings and then kind of white feathers. He's angry. Oh, he's at 130. Okay, well that's still not bad. Okay, yeah, we, we knocked him down a lot faster than this because we have this uh, much better crossbow. Um, so, yeah, that only took about, I, I wasn't counting for sure, but maybe 20, 25 arrows. Very cool. Okay. So let's get some prime in him. Shouldn't take more than 10, not even that much probably. Put 11 in. And by the way, Joe has not been on the server since the last episode, so we still haven't tweaked the the eat interval here. So this guy should stand up pretty quick here. Um, and I really like the colors on this, the gold, gold, black, and gray colors. I think we're gonna name name him Granite because a grant because Granite is kind of white stone with like gold golden gray specks in it i think <laughs> so yeah we're gonna call him granite i like that name uh all right so once granite is up i would really i think what i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna continue to grind for more chitin I, I need at least one argentava saddle on these guys i really do so we have if we grab both of those oops Yeah, so, so we need 48 more chitin slash keratin, uh, just to even make one. Um, and I think we really need need to do that before we take off so we can at least control, you know, one of these RGs. So, uh, that being the case, let's go ahead and... I'm going to grab the, these two RGs here. And we'll grab Raptor. How you doing there? Yeah, I'm going to wait for Granite to stand up. And then when Granite stands up, we'll all go after some more uh, Carrot and Chitin. There is a level 15, I think it is, Bronto up there. 
We could knock that out for berry gathering, but again, I, I think we just need to get the hell out of here. So I'm not going to waste time and resources doing that. Okay, granite is up. The rest of that uh, in there. Let's get him out of the cage. Yeah, he's a nice looking RG, man. I love those colors. We can almost call him, on the mineral theme here, we can almost call him pyrite, because pyrite's kind of that color too. <laughs> but we'll, we'll keep him as granite. Okay, so... We've got another point in Patra here. Um, stamina's getting pretty good. I think I'm going to put uh, melee damage on Petra. Okay, so let's go after... What is that? Oh, that's just a parasaur. There's usually some turtles up here and... There's usually some some bugs too. Where's our raptor? Oh, there he is. Okay. I'm gonna actually have everybody follow Petra instead of me. And we'll go back up this trail here. Raptor does a pretty good job of keeping up because uh, she's fast and she also doesn't get stuck as easy as the trike. The trike's a pain in the butt to have follow you because it's always getting stuck on things. Uh, that's a one of those Listrosaur thingies. Usually, or well, I don't know if usually is correct, but often there's our turtle are three up here, but I'm not seeing them. Okay, here's some bugs. Got seven kiting off of that one. Six off of that. Get out of here. Another seven there. Okay. So a couple more uh, little little groups of bugs like that, and we'll probably get what we need. Let's go down this way. So yeah, that's one of the, the problems with this area is that because there's there's not a lot of land around. Um, looking to see if he dropped a bag. It's kind of hard to, to, to get resources. I mean, you know, wood, stone, and all that kind of stuff is not a problem, but I have to go quite a ways away and then all the way into that cave for metal, which is a pain in the butt. And finding enough chitin and character and all that has been a real challenge in this area. It's it's absolutely gorgeous, but it's just a tough place to to get established. Oh, there's a turtle. Good. Okay, let's go get him. Mega Mastix bastards, too. Hey, you do my cooked meat, you little. Hmm, I thought we killed them like right here. I don't know. Uh, oh, actually, maybe one of the other critters picked up my cooked meat. Uh, let's give you. You're up to 3,000 hit points, so let's give you melee. And how much keratin do you have? One. Okay. Check the RGs here. You don't have anything. Let's get your health up to 5,000. 
Well, actually, I, I kind of want to... I need to ride on the Argies first to get a better feel for what we should be putting points into. Hey, what happened to Granite? Don't tell me we just lost our male Argy. He's not around because I don't see the heart on the females. Hmm, I don't know. Here, let's get this turtle killed. saber tooth down there. I think those guys drop down from up above. They don't spawn down here. But saber tooths are cool, but I've always preferred uh, the wolves or the saber tooth. For one reason, you don't need a saddle for a wolf. Okay, well, we probably have enough now. See, I, I said we needed 48 in total. So let's gather up everything that we currently have. We have 20 there. We have six on you. Shit, you don't have any? He doesn't. All right, so yeah, see, it's just this is really challenging, man, to get all the resources we need. So we actually only have 26 so far. I, I already looked on you, right? Uh, no. Okay, so we have 32. We need a total of 48. All right. Well, what I'm going to do, well, actually, I want to find out what happened to Granite. I thought Granite was following us, but maybe he wasn't. Let's, let's determine that first. Either that or maybe he got stuck somewhere. Yeah, there he is. He's just stuck. Okay, good. Let's check Granite's inventory. He didn't have anything. Okay. Uh-oh. We don't want our raptor going down that way, because if he falls in the water, he could get killed by a Nidaria. Okay, I think he's good now. Or she, I should say. Alright. Where is the raptor? There she is. Okay. We'll just have her barrel off the side of the mountain. <laughs> For those of you who may not know this, when critters fall in this game uh, and you're not mounted on them, they don't take any damage. Okay, well... I guess what I'll do here, guys, is I think I'm just going to cut the camera and keep hunting until we get enough chitin to make an Arja Davis saddle. And then when that happens, I'll we'll bring you guys back. And, oh, actually there is one other thing I want to do too. So let's park for a second. How come you're not land? Um, we get chitin from these guys, don't we? Well, I don't want to get the Pelagornis birds involved. Uh, what I want to do is, we got a bunch of metal. So, I want to make um, a long neck and then turn probably most of the rest of this metal into bullets. So, let's go here. And we're going to learn the long neck rifle. Yeah. 
and I actually want to see if this may not matter, but I'm not 100% sure if it does or not. Can we make the long neck with this metal? Arms. Yes, we can. Cool. I suppose we could make a shotgun too, but I think I'm just going to go with the long neck for now. Alright, so we will put that in that slot and I think we're gonna let's just ditch this crossbow because it's just about done for anyway yeah so we have 131 chitin slash keratin so far which still is not enough okay let's grab all of this gunpowder out of here um, and we're still making a little bit more and we're basically just going to make bullets and I think I need an Ingram for that too don't I rifle simple rifle ammo yeah. uh, I don't have polymer or cementing paste to make the assault rifle so we're just gonna stick with the long neck okay Let's start making a bunch of those Okay, we'll let that finish up and we'll get some more cooked meat because that stupid Pago stole some from us. It's chaotic out here. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go look for more chitin keratin, bring you guys back when I have enough to make one Argenteva saddle. Then we'll go from there. Oh, we uh, got tangled up with a Allosaurus here. Here comes some more. Dowsers. I'm stuck. Yeah, those aloes put the that bleed effect on you. Um we're all bleeding. <laughs> Take a blood shower. Gross. Uh, did these guys drop any kind of keratin? Yeah, we got five off of him. We got some prime meat, too. I'm just going to leave that on him. Oh, we got some oil. Oh, that was from killing the mechanical dino. Uh, and you got the aloe brains. Okay, we'll hang on to that for later. Can't quite get to granite's inventory. There we go. Hey, what the hell's going on? No oh, compies. Looks like a Petra's inventory. Okay, there's 12. We're getting close. But yeah, you can see the struggle's real <laughs> when it comes to getting keratin and stuff. What uh, level is that stego here? Oh, that's a max level stego. Okay, here's the thing. I could tame that. And it'd be a really, really good barrier uh, berry gatherer. But getting it from hither to yon would be an exceedingly difficult task. The other thing I could do is tame it and just leave it here. Um, because that area is one of the new player spawn locations, and then people could could use it. And I could even potentially come back for it in the future, you know, with either a raft, perhaps. Well, actually, I think, isn't doesn't that lead Scythicus or whatever thing attack rafts? I don't know how that well that would work. Uh, or the does Quetzals. I wonder if Quetzals can carry Stegos. I can't remember if they can or not. I think they might be able to. But that's super tempting, man. That is a max level critter. Um, 
Yeah, we should have enough. I'd have to make some more arrows, of course. Oh boy. All right. I. It's a max level, guys. We gotta try it. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. We're gonna have to give it a try. So let's let's get everybody else back home, and then I'll just see if I can pull the the stego over. Woo -hoo -hoo, look at that guy go. Uh, pull the stego over just on the pteranodon. Stop. Get a little bit of stamina back. And then we will nip him in the butt. He's angry. Come at me, bro. Oh, you're not mad anymore? What about this? Get out of here, copies. Uh, the hell? Okay. Let's see if I can just bring him right over the edge of this cliff here. Now, you don't stay mad for long, do you? Yeah, as long as he keeps coming this direction. comes. Wow. I almost wonder if I should uh, just start cranking him now and kite him in. Oh. I just got stegified he's mad at Petra get out of here Raptor oh this is new stegos didn't used to be able to do this it's like some kind of pinning thing or something I'm gonna try something. You are following me and you're on passive. He's angry. Might as well get the tranking process started now. He's not going very fast. understand why he's not running. I mean, it's working out great for me, but it seems weird. Alright. I don't think I'm going to hit him anymore until he's in the cage. Here. Petra, you stay put. Is he still even... He acts like he's not even aggroed on me. You need to come over here, man. He's not aggroed on me. What the hell? I don't get it. Oh, is that a female? Oh, now they are. I mean, I'd prefer to drop him in a cage, but or her, rather. Okay, let's see if we can bring her around again. Okay, 
Come on around this way. Alright. I don't think I'm going to get it in the cage. I think she's getting close because she's running, running away now. We're probably just going to have to put some spikes around her or something. Out of the way, Parasaur. Are you coming after me now? Hmm. It's, uh... She seems really buggy. I mean, this isn't normal Stego behavior. Okay. Get down. Okay, so we're just gonna have have to really guard her and make sure nothing nasty comes by. Uh, all I have is mayo berries. So let's put a bit of those on. It looks like a, our trough got hit by her tail. This is going to take a little while, but it shouldn't be too long because of our, <laughs> our massively OP eating intervals. Uh, we definitely don't need to put any narcotic on her. All right, guys. Well, I'm just going to wa wait until uh, the stego stands up, and that gives us a really nice berry-gathering dino. But getting the stego from here to our permanent base is probably not something I'm going to attempt um, until I have a, a safer way to do that. But I, I just couldn't pass this one up because this is this is like, you know, max level. And she's at 99.6. <clears throat> so we're going to lose a couple of bonus levels i think when it's all said and done but you know what can you do right still going to be an absolutely magnificent dinosaur for us so i'll bring you guys back uh, when she stands up all right guys our stego is up she's a female so we'll call her stega i know not very original but it is what it is and uh i think we got 98 levels uh, bonus levels, something like that, or no, 98%, whatever. Uh, she's 223. <laughs> That's her level. And we got a stego salad saddle for her. And look at that. All right. Got ourselves a stegosaurus. Very cool. I like the design on her, her bony plates there. What the hell? Get out of the way, Petra. Okay, so, um... While I was waiting for her, I made myself a scope for the rifle. So now we have a scope. And we have a full stack and a little bit more of bullets. So that's good. And, uh, all right. So I think uh, we're going to have to wrap up this episode. We're out of time already. <laughs> and what we'll do is... I'm just looking at those icons in the upper right hand corner. It looks like one is an armor thing and the other one is she's still fatigued or something maybe? I don't know. Huh. Uh, so what I think I'll do is gather up some berries, make some more narcotic until it gets light enough and then we'll start the next episode. And uh, we're just going to keep the Stegosaurus here. I'll probably park her inside of the taming pen. And head out and start looking for our, our permanent base location and exploring this awesome map. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. 
and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.